Evoli, evolviti sempre. Hi everyone and welcome back to Evoli's Kitchen. I am Chef Victoria from Evoli's team and today I'm going to show you how to make the most amazing and fluffy focaccia using our Evoli's air fryer 5.5 liters. When, as you can see, we have eight different functions, but today we're going to be using the baking option. So let's get started. The ingredients are very simple. We're going to use all-purpose flour or double zero flour if you have, uh, if you can find in a supermarket. Salt, olive oil, water, room temperature, yeast and rosemary. I'm going to show you now how to prepare the yeast for your bread. So first of all, you can use dry yeast or fresh yeast. It, does, it will not change much in the process. I want first to activate it, which means that we're going to bring it to life to make our bread fluffy and nice. So for this, you're going to add the yeast. We're going to put some sugar. We never mix yeast and salt together because this, the salt it will kill our yeast and then the bread will not be fluffy. And a little bit of flour. We have some room temperature water, can be a little bit warm. Just be careful that it's not too hot because again, this is going to uh, kill our yeast. So think about the yeast like if it was yourself. You want some things, you can, the temperature has to be room temperature. The food, you will have now the water and this is how we bring our yeast to life. So I'm gonna show you how to mix all this together. And we're gonna keep it resting for around um, 15 to 10 minutes in a room temperature. And after this time, you will see it will look fluffy and with bubbles. And this is what we are looking for. After we have the bubbles and everything, it's going to be ready to use. So look at this, it's only 10 minutes and the yeast now is activated. You can see that there is fluffy, there is a lot of air going on. And this is what is going to help us to make the very, very fluffy bread that we are looking for. So this is very important, as I told you before, we're not going to put yeast and salt together. So first of all, I'm going to mix the flour with the salt and I'm going to mix this well so the yeast is not in direct contact with the salt, all right? When that this is done, you can make a little hole in the center of your bowl. I'm going to start putting all the wet ingredients, so in this case, the yeast and we are going to add some extra water. So you will have the recipe in the details down on the video, but just with the water, sometimes you might require a little bit more, a little bit less. You need to feel that the dough is not too dry. This is very important. So if you need a little bit of extra, you can add slowly, and otherwise you just use exactly the quantity that I am showing you. Once that we mix this a little bit, I'm going to add the oil, olive oil, you can, if you have a good quality, it's better, so it adds some extra flavor to it. And we're going to start making our dough. So once that we have a dough, we're going to take it to our table and we're going to knead it. For how long? Around 10 to 15 minutes. It has to be quite elastic. Why we do this is to activate the gluten that we have in the flour. So that's why I'm gonna put nice quantity of flour and I'm gonna put the dough in there with some extra flour on top and we're going to start kneading the dough. Now I've been kneading the dough for around 15 minutes. As you can see, it looks very smooth and nice. And I'm gonna show you, first of all, we need to keep it dressed for around four hours. So for this, I'm going to use our pressure cooker from Everly 10 to 1. We have an amazing option which is yogurt and we can also leave our bread to proof. What does it mean? I need my bread to double or triple the size that you can see now. Second option, you can leave it in room temperature. It will take a little bit longer. So I'm gonna use for this, as I told you, our pressure cooker machine. So I'm going to remove the lid from the machine and I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in the bowl just to avoid my dough to get sticky after the time and I'm going to put the dough in the center. Now we're going to close the lid and as I told you we're going to use the yogurt option which is the last on the right. It gives me six hours and I want to move that to four. Start cancel and now we need to wait. All right, guys, after the three beep beep, it's done. It means the time is over. We're gonna open it. So in this case, we don't need to release any steam because there was no pressure going on now. It was just 
40 degrees inside to help to improve the proving of the bread and now look at this so you can see that it's very airy and nice all right look so now we're going to take it out of here and we're going to take it to the mold and we're going to leave it proving again four more hours to make it fluffy again before we bake it all right guys so as i told you before i put the bread in a mold that fit the air fryer and uh, i keep it till it doubles the size so i basically when i put it it was over here and now it doubles the size and i if i even touch i can feel that it's very fluffy inside so now we're going to give the final shape and we are ready to bake so for the final shape we're going to put some olive oil just a little bit of olive oil on top and using our fingers we're going to make little holes all around the bread this is very classic of the focaccia so i put olive oil so you know it's not too sticky and i can manage to make these holes so let's get this done all right you see and you can see all this is very classical from the focaccia so you have all these little holes you see this is all air inside okay now i told you we're going to make rosemary if you would like you could add i'm going to add now some rock salt you can use maldon salt if you want um if you would like uh, you can put some cherry tomatoes cut it uh, in halves you can make some caramelized onion i mean it's endless the, the, the different type of focaccia you can make it you can just use your imagination and for the rosemary i'm just going to cut small pieces and i'm going to put in the little holes that I prepared earlier on, all right? So you don't need to fill up all the little holes, but just some of them, okay? So compared to an oven, we don't need to preheat the air fryer. This is something that I love because I don't like to preheat the oven and then the, temp the temperatures get very hot at home. I, that's why I prefer the air fryer. We just put the bread in, temperature, time, and it's ready to cook. So this is amazing so this is looks exactly the way i wanted to we are ready to bake all right so i'm gonna put the bread inside the air fryer machine and we're gonna close it well we're gonna choose we're gonna turn on and choose the bake option 190 for 20 minutes that's it, as simple as that. You don't need to worry about staying at home. Even if you want, you can go do something that you have to do in between. After 20 minutes, the machine is going to stop and the baking is going to stop as well. So it cannot get burnt, all right? So I'll be back in 20 minutes to see the results. Okay, guys, my focaccia is ready. If yours is not this gold color, you could keep it a little bit longer in the air fryer. So, yeah, and you will see, wait a little bit before serving, at least 15 minutes, and then it's ready to serve. And I will, I'm going to make you listen to this sound. It has a beautiful crust. So classically, we serve with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of balsamic, and that's it. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any question, please write your question down in the video and I can answer on a future video. And I hope to see you soon for new recipes using the air fryer from Everly. Thank you guys.